my directions were working. This game actually has a keynote opening. The one when you first turn the game on. Two years. It's like a banjo slowly playing the theme. This game does something very notable that almost no video games do. I'll point it out almost immediately. It's super, super rare for sequels. Mistress. The rock is still moving, which implies she's still moving around underneath it. Oh, the bear, not the bird, huh? I think we were a team effort. Anus. Playing poker. It surprised me when I first saw this game that he still had the skull face. Because I thought the sequel would get rid of that. Oh, that's not a very good hand at all. Grunchy, the witch is coming. Nice. She just indirectly killed bottles. Hi. Kazooie's probably really shit at poker. Benjo is also probably really shit at poker. He's got a fucking flush. Straight flush. No, it's not a fucking flush. It's just a straight. But it's a good straight. That's like a big two straight. I don't think it would actually be a straight. Jack, Queen, King, Ace, Two is a straight in big two, but in poker it's not. I actually own the original hardware of Banjo Kazooie and Tui. They're sitting in a drawer. One of them is... The Tui one isn't even mine. I borrowed it from a friend. And, like, uh, he never asked for it back. And now I haven't seen him since high school. So that was, like, ten years ago. If you're out there, Kyle, I still got your copy. Banjo Tui. I told him I want to borrow it. Just to play through it again, he was like, hell yeah, dude, just take it. So maybe he gave it to me. Okay, he didn't say it exactly like that. Blah bra Blah I had plenty of people walk off with my games. Oh, the fucking Ponsu. Polka dot. What great characters already. Now we got three witches. Or maybe two. Kazooie's kind of sketch. You got a nice balance between the two characters. Uh, 
He's been trying to push that rock for two fucking years. What excellent voices. Is that Boulder Blaster? I didn't see it. There's something on the other page too, I wonder what that said. It's probably something fucking risque. Nice. Upskirt. Are they rhyming? I haven't been paying attention. Did it rhyme once? She's dead. Right then, girls, let's fix me up. Avengers, Harry, but I'll whoop. Oh, that's a rhyme. Oh my god, Mumbo. Oh my god, he's got AirPods in. He can't hear us. Oh my god. That's what she buys, birdseed. I remember it lagging a little bit. It depends on what you're doing. I only remember it lagging when like clockwork eggs are exploding and shit. And my head cannon to is or er, 2D is also in this building. And she dies in this scene. And no one acknowledges it. I forgot how much more this game attempts to have a story. The original was so quick. Your little sister is kidnapped and that's that. I mean, we've gotten through most of this one already. There's a lot of little things that are really good about the continuity. Like, you can track where this vehicle goes. It leaves a trail and you like follow the trail a pretty decent way. I love those little green things. Something about their design is hilarious. I was anticipating this game so much as a kid. I did quite enjoy it. I can't believe Bottles is fucking dead. Kazooie is a mile better to me. I can't believe Bottles is fucking dead. Ow, or did she put down a payment? Ooh. 
Killed him. He's got a fucking angel right there. He just scratched himself as an angel. You tell me angels get itchy? I don't like that. Wow, the fourth wall break. After a man died, you just break the fourth wall? This glare, I don't remember it. He's right, this game is harder than the first one. Mostly because of Canary Mary. Alright, so here's Bottles' fucking dead corpse. So, the thing that this game does, which is extremely rare for... Oh, I want to go into my house. No one up on the top. Decaying down there. Sad. Um, this game retains all of the controls from the original game. And that also applies to all power-ups. So I, like, have eggs. I don't have eggs right now. I have feathers. I can do my fucking flappy thing. I can do my ground pound. I can talent trot. It's super duper weird. Oh, hey. The barbecue? Okay, I'll save you. It's so strange for a sequel to retain all of the power-ups, but still give you more power-ups. Klungo. My old nemesis. You actually never fight him or even interact with him. Banjo probably never even finds out he exists in the original. They never see each other. Yeah, Prime 2. It's like such a short list of games that actually do that. Here's a little tutorial section telling you how to use all the items in case you actually didn't play Tui or Kazooie. Also, there's slightly improved physics. Having just played the other one and now playing this one, the characters move just a little bit faster. Um, eggs. Now you get them in these little nests. I haven't even met that guy yet. There's some feathers. Okay, now I can do the flap out of a talent trot, which was not possible in the original game. They, like, subtly improved all the mechanics. This game has better quality of life stuff than the original does, I guess. A Pachita page. That I explored. So he gives you the in-game cheats just like the last game. You have to get pages to do it. So what happens if I try and talk to bottles? They don't do anything. That's sad. There's a finite number of Cheeto pages in the game, so I guess I'm going to try and get all of them right. There's actually a couple secrets here, but I'll have to come back way later to get them. They require, like, grip grab and shit like that. That's not way later, but it's later enough. Uh, I'm not even going up there. It just takes me to Cheeto. Alright, here we go. So all of the game took place in this little outside area, plus Grunty's Mansion. Castle. Bottles was your friend, and you didn't know you could see him. Hi, Klungo. Minion with a mission. The bosses all have a little introductory blurb like that. Game ends here. It's gonna be a pretty short game. 
There's three separate boss fights with this guy, and he drinks a different potion. Uh, literally randomly. And the different boss fights, uh, you can get them in any order. He'll, like, if you drink the green potion early on, he won't drink it again later. So you always have the same three boss fights, but the order in which you get the three boss fights is different. It's random. I got the invisibility one first. He's also got a cloning one and another one that I forget. That was pretty easy. I know you just learned the mechanics of the game. I love how he pounds his fist like that. God, I'm not looking forward to Grunty Industries. It's actually an ingeniously designed level. I got two days off in a row. Well, that was fun. Is this the way he ran off? It was green, I think. Ginger Village. This place theoretically existed somewhere in the original game. Top 10 brutal anime deaths. Here we go. That's a warp. Uh, there were white Jinjos too. Or whatever these were. Grey Jinjos? Something. Let's find out. Okay, I got it. Thanks, Jim Jar. Grey Jinjo family. So there are no actual Grey Jinjos anywhere in the game. And it's because Grunty and Co. literally just killed them all. By driving through their house. Like you can get gold or red feathers from those things. I like that you get items in big groups in this game. There's a lot of anti-inconvenience stuff. The game has been streamlined quite a lot compared to the original. King Jingling. Look, he's definitely alive. Yo, what's up? That's really how he greets himself. He says, yo, what's up? Also, he's got toots. I kind of like it quiet. The kickball tournament next week. Gives you the first jiggy. Oh yeah, the jiggy jig is gone. You will no longer dance when picking up a jiggy. You just made that up. Wasn't he jiggling? I just called him dingling. Bottles' his house. I like how Bottles dies and then you promptly find out he has a wife and two kids. Yeah, I'm playing on emulator. Psychomantis. His strange pet thingy was cool. Literally me. That's what I thought too. Jimmy Wiggy. I like that. Banjo's not so good with names.
I appreciate that it doesn't. No one corrects him either time, too. That's a cute character trait. So, where are we right now? Come on, sisters, time I lack. What's the plan to get my body back? Annoying your rhyming is, so stop it or we will not tell. <laughs> it's that easy. She can just rhyme whenever she wants to. You're that Jinjo. Grunty's life force is already printed on it. Of course the resolution looks like it's on an N64. Simulating an N64. I'm not doing anything to upscale it or anything. Why doesn't she just aim this at me? Yeah, I noticed that. It's like a lot better. They have it too close together. You can use it on like Ryu. Wow, it has a big old blow button too. I wonder if that'll ever be hit at any point during the playthrough. Her jump hard kick hits twice a lot more easily as well. This is just the bust matic isn't it? Remember King Jingling? Maybe because Banjo's moving is a lot harder to target. This game starts so menacingly. Just kill off a bunch of characters. Was it the Man of Gold? Toots is hiding inside the couch, if you go back in there and look at him. Standing three, close to Oh my god, this tutorial sounds amazing. It's not Man of Gold, it's something stupid. Bottle's house, good enough for me. Found it. It's a hole in the ground, he's a mole. Didn't you know Bori combo? Let's talk to this kid. No, it's the wife. She's kinda, I like her. It's usually that super art. It's like the least used one. Any jump in or close attack? I mean, yeah, I guess a lot of them they can. He never misses his dinner. Wow, I just literally lie that he's not dead. Or I play dumb that he's fucking dead. Where's the Jet Force Gemini poster? They just have an enemy living here. I 
I forgot that camera doesn't move in bursts in this game, it just moves continuously as long as you're holding the direction. Again, it's a mechanical improvement, but I'm not used to it. Mostly Wimp when used by the computer. There's the Jet Force Gemini poster. Goggles. I believe they're called the Amazigays. Is that Firewallers? An escape tactic to get out of corners or switch sides. Holy fuck. It's the, it's the boy from Jet Force Gemini. I don't remember either of their names. I thought that there was more than one exit here. Wait, so how did these things actually work? I didn't like pay attention at all. Also, you have to hit up again to leave that mode, which is kind of weird. Okay, now I'm back at the top. Ah, uh, hold on. I've never beaten Jet Force Gemini. Also, here I am. Secret way out of this. It was locked and King Jingling opened it. Isn't that kind of weird? King Dangling. Especially for us. Nice. So there's the girl from Jet Force Gemini. There's probably the picture of the fucking dog or the robot or whatever somewhere around here too. That was a dog, right? My doorman. He checks to see if you have the appropriate number of jiggies, which is one. Turn screen once it's been activated. Look, dude, I did it, okay? Sounds like fun. Hmm. That sounds familiar. No cameras permitted. Make shakies. <laughs> Fuck. Greetings, O oh Chosen One. I should mention that there's a slightly new mechanic to attacking in this game. Oh no, what a difficult puzzle. They do get harder. Tweet me this uh, oral guide because I want to read it and laugh. Imagine making a guide for a character and someone like sends you something that essential and you're just like, oh, I'll put it as an afterthought. Literally like the core of the character's offensive presence and all of his combos. I said tweet it to me.
There's definitely a lot more nothing in this game. There's a lot more waiting. The game is longer, but there's more cutscenes and, like, things you have to watch play out. Oh, so in the first game, if you hit neutral B, Banjo will do an awkward little swing that's nearly useless to attack. In this game, he has Kazooie, like, peck. That's one of the changed moves. I think there's at least one more. I think this game requires absolutely zero backtracking. Button. This is a warp pad. So the levels are huge in this game. This is one of the smallest ones. I think I can't go in here. How cruel is fate. Banjo really can't duck. Do I get that at this level? Notes. Ha ha ha. That's a ginger up there, it's like the white one. Bears usually walk around on fucking all fours. Hell yeah, I've seen bears duck. So this is where I actually meet this guy. Drill Sergeant Jam Jars. Bottles in uniform. My brother. Not too good. Recently deceased at the hands of Grunty the Witch. Playing cards. Typical. <laughs> Taught us loads in the last game. He only knew novice moves. So, Bottles will just teach you moves if you find him. This guy requires notes to teach you moves. Egg aim. He does like a... He, he rhymes it and he like marches as he says it. He didn't do it that time for whatever reason. Or he didn't do it for most of it. I lied, there is backtracking in this game. There's quite a lot of backtracking in this game. I just remembered all the instances of backtracking. The thing is, the levels are interconnected, so you don't have to, like, leave levels and come back. Usually, it's more like you'll just go to the level from another level. It's actually quite good. Okay. Oh, it's because I'm holding Z. Z makes the text go slower. But it also allows me to keep on writing on Kazooie. If you know what I mean. Meow. I always remember that sunbite. Jiggy. You don't dance in this game when you collect a Jiggy. It's such a little area of improvement. It's subtle, but it makes the game a lot, like, less obnoxious. I'm guessing I can't enter here until I find Jam Jars. Bird handling. I thought bird, Banjo would be a pretty good bird handler, if you know what I mean. Same... the Dame friggin' move. They're completely different. Handheld gun. He's got a random chance of accidentally jumping into that thing. It's pretty funny when it happens. I thought the treble clef was around. Oh, there it is. So this is like the mega note. 
This is like a bunch of notes all by itself. 20. It's not even that much. The Black Jinjo. So one thing that people couldn't help but observe when playing this game is the Black Jinjo family is the biggest by far. I don't know if people are racist for observing it, or if Rare is racist for making it that way, or if there's any sort of racial component at all. I shouldn't say racist, maybe. Stereotypical. The White Jinjo family is just a single member, but the Black Jinjo family has like fucking nine members. So whenever you complete a Jinjo family, they give you a Jiggy. And the Jinjo locations are randomized. Or rather, the Jinjos are always in the same places, but the colors are randomized. Wow, this is really sensitive. So how do I shoot? Let's see. Ooh, one of the special ones. This would be easier if I got closer to them. This is unbelievably sensitive. I have a lot of control on one hand. Let's go say hi to the cow thing. I corn hardly believe it. Thou Wheatley, you Wheatley. Oh. Because he was just like, cut the puns. That's like my story when I was playing DK64. That was like some funny fucking bullshit. Do I need grip grab? I do. I haven't learned that yet. I gotta come back here. That's obnoxious. There's some subtly good game design in here. The fucking load. The caulking. I really appreciate that. That's hilarious. So, um, not only does this game feature like a first person shooting component. But the multiplayer features this heavily. You can play this as like a literal first person arena shooter. One of the main multiplayer modes is to play this against other people. Not only that, but um, some of the maps are maps from Goldeneye, just to make it that much better. Like, uh, comple uh, what's it called? Complex. From, uh, where are these cats? Oh, he's not even dead. I'm gonna make always left turns. I don't know where I'm going, so I might as well play it safe. The infinite ammo. But it's being guarded by an enemy. I don't need it. This is a pretty badass. There's a Jinjo in here. Pretty get badass game mechanic, I gotta admit. It's a door, but it's locked. This might be a little prize area. So I might have come here a little too early. I gotta admit, I'm a little lost. I don't like the sound they make when they're taking damage. Not well, bad. Mortal, 10 statue skins entry to my slightly sacred chamber. I appreciate the gags and the names of the chambers. That Jinjo is pissing me off because I want him. There he is. I really like the versus mode in um, Goldeneye. That level, that uh, complex, was in Goldeneye. It was in Perfect Dark, I think. It was in this game, and it was in... Uh, where is he? It's in uh, Donkey Kong 64. I put that damn level in everything. 
Epic aim. There's probably a few other levels that are massively reused. I appreciate this fucking gun. So the entire premise is pretty funny. Using Kazooie as like a fucking first person shooter. It's just kind of cool. I don't remember how many there are. There might only be 20. Or maybe the highest reward requires 30 or something. I actually feel like I'm hurting cats fucking fighting those guys. I don't like that feeling. It's back down here. I wonder if it stops it really. Okay, they all disappear. That's like great confirmation. Thank God. But I don't remember where it is. Or how to get out. I'd appreciate maps of this bullshit. That's that little looking area I found. It was like a secret tunnel I went through. That got me there. I think this is wrong. It's probably getting colder and colder. Does this just take me up? Oh, this this is like where I entered. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where I entered. So hopefully the really secret chamber and slightly secret chamber are just over here. I like found them pretty fast. I started going not this way, I don't think. Oh, now I'm up top again. And there's a little looking area here too. I'm fucked. Let's get to one of those underground areas again. I'm not gonna get that. Those are actually inconvenient if you've got full HP. I thought it was here. This is it. I'm there. Which one's the slightly sacred chamber? I don't know which one's which. No one else will either. Okay, this is the slightly sacred chamber. So I just got a Jinjo just like that. Or I mean, fuck, a Jiggy. So the first time it just lets you walk in and grab the the jiggy, but the next one kind of fakes you out because you think it's going to be like that again. But of course there's a cutscene, so we'll have the game finished in no time. <laughs> I love that. It's so self-aware. Uh-oh. I did. Targeted, targeted zone. Turbid and doom. You can't aim up and down, I think, so it is like Wolfenstein. My legs? Moggies? Where is this Moggy in question? I don't fucking see it. I was I was told of a Magi. I thought it was just a raw distance thing, but I actually don't know where the fuck it is. Oh, he was doing laps with me. Oh, they shoot you. I gotta dodge when I see a face. Oh, 
Oh, not so easy. Is there a strafe? I don't know if there's a strafe. Yeah, there is. It's C right and C left. That's actually super fluid feeling, too. It's going to take me a little bit of getting used to, though. Ah. It's not dead. Giant hitbox on these guys. Where'd he go? Oh, hello. Uh, are you dead? Oh shit. Yeah, Benjo is probably one of the most... Tui was probably one of the most anticipated N64 games. I don't know if Kazooie was considered to be, like... I remember it was popular. Oops, that's the slightly sacred chamber, isn't it? I don't remember the way out. That's A. I keep on trying to hit B to open doors. That's what it is in Goldeneye. Super is that? Alex? I think I got everything in here. There's like four or five of those in the game. I don't think you ever saw Kazooie's midsection in the entire last game. It's just like her wings and her fucking feet. Her head. So is the Globo just in here? I didn't see it. Yeah, it is. So Globo's the new Mumbo token. Best shaman in game. So this game has a transformation in every single level, I think. And it also has a mumbo in every single level. And the mumbo is not actually transformation in this game. You're actually a playable character, Mumbo. You never really see him next to Banjo. He's quite a bit taller. There's some Jiggies in this game that are so fun and some that are so terrible. So Mumbo's pretty shit. His main gimmick is um, he can activate various things. I don't have to do anything up here, do I? I didn't look over here earlier. It appears to be locked to me. Probably something I do with Banjo. So these little mumbo pads, on the little edge of them, it writes out Ikumbokum. E E K U M B O K U M. Hope this works. Oh, 
I find it very strange that the first thing you get as Mumbo in this game is the ability to control something else. Get fuck nerd. So this one you just open the bottom of it. The other one he kicks the whole door open. That one he just kicks a hole in the door. It's so he can't go into that one, but I just think it's kind of weird that they got different mechanics. Oh, do I kick this rock? I thought it was like a rock I had to drill. That worked. Get fucked, idiot. You gotta be the statue to get this. I think I'm done with all the statue related stuff to be honest. But I got 15 seconds left so I might as well explore a little bit. Kill this guy. Maybe I can kick that door open. I don't think so but we'll give it a go. Oh yeah. Cool. Ooh it was close but I got him. So all the things I did stay done, I guess. I think I killed that guy, so maybe they come back to life. We got a flight pad. Let's B to activate these things. Getting used to all the controls. Oh yeah, you can attack enemies as Mumbo. Did I even show that off? That's his weapon. You can aim it wherever you want. And it lasts infinitely, I guess, if you want to hold it. Lens Flare! I don't remember the line. Something or off of Cool Sword or off. It was like something like that. Shimmies for no man. I don't remember it for shit. So what did I do? Let's go in here. It's like I'm really playing um, Metroid Prime. This first person mode was a lovely addition to the uh, egg mechanic from the first game. A lot of the upgrades are really sensible additions, and a lot of them are like, why did you give this to me? Generally speaking, everything is pretty cool. Still feel like it's weird. In the first game, it was up C to go first person, and down C to leave first person. In this game, it's up C to enter and leave it. Treasure chamber. This is the guy who was running around when I was unlocking the level. What's up with you? That's kind of a weird way to say... He's dead! I killed him! <laughs> Tough luck, we don't care. I like how Benjo didn't contradict that. Don't make me choose. That was pretty easy to find. Literal piles of cash. Piles of gold. I never looked at this mural. I think I see a person bowing on their knees. Fuck. I don't care about you. Maya Hem. Like Maya. Like mayhem. Kind of a cute pun. 
I think you can use the first person mode to shoot the jewels on these guys and they'll like get stunned. I should have teleported to that flight pad. This game is a lot more running in it, did I mention that? Heard of Jinjo. Where is he? Is he on the wall? To the window! I seem to recall there was like a cave on the wall. And then the cave was like... Maybe not. I was going to say Jinjo. Is that something? I can't tell if that's something. It's not. Well, I can go get that thing I'm supposed to use the grip grab to get. I can also get that Jinjo on top of this building over here. Oh, I forgot how much more control you had. Jesus Christ. That was like actually too much control. So here's the one white Jinjo in the whole game. I got it almost immediately. So I get a... Uh, Jiggy immediately. I like this remix. It plays one of these big animations if you ever complete a family. All the black ones together only have a Jiggy between them, but this white one has a Jiggy by himself. Is this a message on racial inequality and wealth? Really makes me ponder. That was a lot of feathers, actually. I also want to go up here so I can grab this one. I gotta be careful not to land, though. The flight mechanics are subtly better. Uh, if I could leave, that'd be swell. Lens flare. I'm not very good with the tackle, so I'm kind of afraid to be using it. Anything on top? No. Kind of scary being up here. Shock jump pad to get out. Kind of donked me on the middle of a existing staircase. That didn't work. You have to stand on it. Somehow I ground pounded it without ever standing on it. This is actually extremely cool because I'm actually in World 5 right now. You get to this cave later in the game, it's pterodactyl land. You can't explore it very much right now. Whoa. That's pretty mean. Oh, it's fucking split up pads. I can't use them yet because I haven't learned how. You can control Banjo and Kazooie independently. That was probably my single favorite feature of this game. It's very creative, very unique. Whoa. 420? I can't afford that. That's probably the hatch ability or something. No, you might get that for the water area. I think it's a Kazooie solo ability, but I don't remember. I wonder what Kazooie's feathered clo cloaca smells like. So let's actually do this thing while we're here. That's the gold that got stolen. There's a sleeping guy. If you get too close to him, he wakes up. Okay, I guess this is locked too. 
I thought you had to... Alright, here I go. Huh? I did it at like one mile per hour. I thought I was just walk very, very slowly. I'll try again. That was too fast too. You can jump off the you can jump onto and then off of the torch and bypass ever doing that, but it's really easy to land on the fire and hurt yourself. But you can just literally jump straight across. You only have to go one way. Alright, this time I'm gonna do it the most microscopic walk I possibly can to see if I'm messing it up somehow. It's going to get pretty boring. Bunga bunga. I think you can literally just jump and he doesn't hear that, so once you get in range to jump over. Oh, do you have to... No, you can just carry it. I like how Banjo doesn't have hammer space for this thing, so you have to actually haul it. Banjo hammer space is everything in the first game. It's implied to be pretty roomy inside that backpack with Kazooie. A lot of free space. Now it's fucking gone again. Now I put it into Hammer Space. I feel like there's a Cheeto page right around here. Oh, I have to grip grab. Oh, but it's like an, a way up. Grip grab helps me. Down on the... actually removes that cursor and adds it again. So if I'm at the bottom, I can go up here and then grip grab this wall and then boost up there and then grip grab that wall. And that gets me to where I am right this fucking second. So it's like an alternate way up to falling in through the top, which is what I did. You found that priceless relic thingy. This is a family game. Game is uncomfortably self-aware. He better not have put that on the tallest pile. Pebble gone. The cavemen are really cute too. Character design in this game is pretty strong. Okay, put it on the short pile. I'm probably not going to have a super long stream today like I did last time, last night. One, because I can't stand large doses of this game. I guess that was only a one. And two, because I want to get back on a somewhat normal sleep schedule. Wow, this level's kind of a pain to navigate. Why is it so big? Remember Super Banjo 2E64? That was pretty fun. Red feathers are like your most precious item. You're boned without those things. I probably need the grip grab to get up there too. And also that might teach me the grip grab. Give. Yep. Alright, he teaches you to attack in the same lesson. Good. 
so now you can grab onto ledges. So this is another rather sensible power. It feels like it maybe should have been in the first game. I like the powers like that a lot. They're very good. Nice humble Wumpa's tent. Oh yeah, these guys, they like speak a weird language, don't they? Hello. Kazui, Dim Bird. <laughs> Like I did not stay dead. Non dead, damn it. Is this the temple with arse written on the top? So this is where you enter the cheats. This has a bunch of cheats you can enter, just like how Kazooie did. Although they're less like game breaking and more like genuine cheats. Like I could enter the right code to get like infinite air or shit like that. Infinite health. <sighs> oh, I thought there was a Jiggy here too. So the top layer says A R S E backwards. That can't have been an accident, dude. It's ours. So this is where it keeps all the cheat codes you've earned so far. I thought that was like a puzzle too. Is this a grip grab ledge? Yep. So what's my attack? There it is. That's tempting. A code that makes Banjo run faster. Wow, it's fucking nothing. Uh. Okay. There's a Cheeto page. I haven't encountered that many of those yet. Which is kind of worrying. Fucking blew up his fucking face. Top 10 brutal anime deaths again. I haven't looked at the total screen in this game yet. I hope it like breaks down what all you can get per level. I'm sure it does. But it's kind of stressful that I haven't like... I don't know. More silent walking, huh? I think you can literally just jump and get there. Damn it, that turned me too much. There we go. Thanks for the jiggy nerd. I think you can't wake him up once you get the jiggy. Which is kind of funny. They didn't want to program him to like have like a fucking line. It's like, hey. Where's my jiggy? You stole it. Guess we'll do Humble Wumba now, since I've run out of most of the other shit to do in the level. Oh, I did get another Cheetah page in the level. It was on top of the thing. I hope the Globo is just, like, right there. Because I don't know where else to look. I hear it. The Globos get farther and farther from the places where you're supposed to use them. As the game goes on. Humble Wamba, best magic person on island. There's probably different dialogue, depending on which one you visit first. No, I guess you have to visit Mumbo first, because he unlocks this place. So, kind of curious they did it the way they did. This lady is the transformations. Wamba is actually enormous. If you, like, get your next to her, 
you realize just how tall she is. Like, if she stood upright, she'd be like 15 feet tall or something. Most of the transformations don't really address whether Kazooie was transformed too. If she's still in the backpack or if we're like some fucking shared entity inside this fucking statue. Now I can talk to these things. I can fly pad. I don't think there was anything up there. There's like a way to enter that place. I've got an attack. Every transformation has an attack in this game. It's subtle, but it's so much better. I'm guessing I can't go across here. I don't know what the, would even be over there. Oh, I can. Or can I? Oh, I forgot about that guy. Literally looks like that one fucking... The Chappelle show, the fucking the Sesame Street parody. The guy that lives in the trash can. The Oscar the Garage parody. Looks like him. Is Chappelle show the greatest sketch comedy of all time? Wobbling along. That's not faster than running. It is faster for a few seconds. Humble Wumbo was redesigned for um, Nuts and Bolts. She looks pretty cute in that game. More unique anyway. I'm Banjo the Stony. I didn't even say hi to him originally. Hmm. Bit short on players, so you might as well go in anyway. <laughs> the way he wobbles. To be honest, this isn't very fun. Then you have to do it a lot. This game is full of shit like this. There's like one of these in Witchy World too. No, training is unnecessary. I mentioned in the last in Kazooie that this game tries to have a lot more replayability. So there's a lot more mini games. There's like at least one per world, sometimes two or three. I don't remember how to fire them. Let's see. This game is pretty easy. You can just catch the balls they're shooting. Wow, thanks. So if it's like on the way to theirs, you can get in the way of it and shoot it away. Away, 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 away. You can, like, attack them, too, to get a quick booster to get them out of the way. But you move faster than them anyway. Like, a lot faster. So it's pretty easy. That would be fun if it if the first one didn't exist and it was just do it twice and it was harder. I think I'd like it more. So this one introduces red balls, which lower points. Oh, I got attacked. I should be doing that to them. So you can, if someone's winning, you can shoot red balls into their fucking field. And lower their points. It's kind of clever, I guess. The 
red balls lower only lower it by one, whereas the yellow ones raise it by two. Yellow's not doing so well. I'm going to give him a hand. At least they don't take that long. I was complaining about how boring it was. But being done with the two of them already isn't that bad at all. Bombs. Whoa. Damn, look at this. They're aggressive. do. You can probably just detonate them. Whoa! See, I didn't do anything when I went to my base. My goal. Easy. Too choked up for words. I forgot just how nuclear the sarcasm of Banjo and Kazooie gets. Kazooie was sarcastic in the first game, but it's like, it's a lot more self aware in this game. I might have been able to do this faster with a warp. I'm not even sure if I can do anything as a Stony over here. I'm just going because I don't remember. I'm gonna go through that door as a stony. And we'll see if there's any stony business for me. How are we doing for this level? Okay, we need two jiggies and a page and a jinjo. But that's all in here. Tell me your secrets. Sun, moon, star, second sun. And then what was the second star? I already forgot. It's whatever. You have to talk to that guy for him to tell you how fucking what he wants you to do. I don't think there's anything else I need to be a stony for here, but I did need that code. However, that code is non-random. The stony sinks. I have like big doubts that this will even lead anywhere. You can't jump. I'm that heavy, huh? Oh, I can. No, I was. Can't do anything here. Uh oh. Did I just break the game? I actually can't do anything as a stony. Don't I have a tackle? B isn't doing anything. Maybe this is up C. Don't I have like controls? I feel like I'm supposed to be able to jump. What's going on? Oh, it's because I moused away. That's it. My directions still work when I mouse away, when I like click another window. Something about the fact that it's analog, but the button presses are now are suddenly ignored. I think I was I did that earlier without realizing it. And now I've solved the mystery. It's because I stopped to type. That door is all super open on this side, but it just had a little hole. I'm 
We're kind of cozy. I'm only having a little bit of fun right now. I'd like to be having a lot of fun. But these things aren't so easy. We'll get next to Wumba so we can see how big she is. She hit her chromatic. Why is she so fucking tall? 15 feet was a bit of an exaggeration. It depends on how tall Banjo is. I think I saw a green eye and a blue eye. She is. No, maybe they're both green. Can't believe they took up Mumbo tokens. I'm literally shaking right now. So I think there's five corpses in every single level. Prison compound with a rat. Sun. Moon. Star. What was it? Sun star. That wasn't it. Sun, moon. That wasn't it either. Uh oh. Just gonna look up this code. That's not good. Help. I'll come back to this. I wrote it down so casually, I thought I saw it. I thought I had it right. And I want to do that again. Going over there. Changes per playthrough? How did I fuck up this bad? Someone check the archive. I got full red. I needed the gold, damn it. Is gonna hate stride right here. We'll try this code. It was written kind of weird. And that wasn't it. Alright, is someone gonna like watch the clip or am I gonna watch the clip? Probably take about as long as just doing it all again. I'm so dumb. I saw it like one second prior. It's too late for me now. Try it as a stony right now. I did it. I did moon star, sun star star. Or did I? 
Or did I do a different one? <laughs> I don't have a brain, guys. Everyone stop watching. Go watch something good. Shut up. I was on it. Moon, star, sun, star, star. That wasn't it. Sun, moon, so I was certain sun, moon, star were the first three. Moon, sun, I think I did that. Maybe I didn't. That was it. Wow. Hi, but I'm a stony though. My little rabid friend, Dilberta. I saw a rat and called it rabid. I think I can't do this yet. You have to do like a drill peck on that, which I don't have because you unlock it in the next world. Yeah, good team effort. Unfortunately, I'm a stony. I think I might actually be done in this world. I know of at least two things I need to backtrack to get. I'm missing a ginger though. My apologies for being stupid. I wrote the first three down and then I like stopped paying attention. I was like, I can just guess on the last one. I thought I got the fourth one right as well, but I guess I didn't. That's because I scrolled through the text while I was still trying to like type it out, and I didn't reread it. Enough excuses. It was just plain dumb. If I was watching this in an archive, I'd be like, but delete this whole section. I like how it just ignores you when you're talking. If this was Bencho Kazooie, I would already be done with the whole game. It would be over. I said it would take about four hours to beat, but it took six. That kind of surprised me. I thought Bencho Kazooie was faster than that. Didn't even see the motherfucker. Cheeto page. There's my last Jiggy, which I think I can't get. And there's um, a rock I could drill if I had the ability to drill rocks, which I don't. It's still pretty badass that you retain all your mechanics. They really made everything do everything in this game. It's like it feels like your controls were already full in the first game. Like everything that could do something did something. All the C buttons, all the, the A button and the B button. Then every combination they're in. Feels kind of... Damn it, I tried every button first. Feels kind of weird to be leaving the level this early. I don't even need to talk to him. The second level in this game is probably my least favorite level. I have mixed feelings on Witchy World. Or not Witchy World, uh, Grunty Industries. Very confusing feelings about that level. On one hand it's got some truly great design. On the other hand it's very, very obnoxious right at the beginning. 
And in particular, the transformation of that level is unbelievably frustrating. I think I, I think my least favorite level in Benjo Kazooie, I like more than my favorite level in this game. I seem to recall they strongly relaxed um, the amount of required stuff to beat the game compared to Kazooie. Which might have been a point of contention with the original game. Oh, I can already unlock World 3. That's pretty fast. Weird. Witchy World. I think I remembered hating Witchy World, but then when I actually did it, it was like kind of fun. My like playthrough in senior year. Last time I played this game was literally ten years ago. What I thought. Feels recent. Still remember everything about it. And by that I mean some things. I can go pick up grenade eggs right now. Or can I? You might need a power from World 2 to get to the World 3 area. I don't know. It seems to have quite a bit of recovery, but whether characters can easily catch it is a different question. Maybe if you have a really fast projectile or something with great full-screen presence. Such as a dash punch. Those requirements really are pretty small. I got a grip grab puzzle right here, if you can call it that. It's just piled rocks. Yeah. What's that? Where is this? Oh, this is the bottles' this house. That's how I got here, I forgot. So where the hell does that way go? That leads to the fucking hen house, I think, down there. Or maybe that one does. God, we've got a lot of locations. Okay, yeah, here's the hen house. I've got nothing to do there yet. I've got to be able to hatch. Range data would be extremely hard to compile. Unless you just did, like, pixels from opponent. Oh, is this progress? No, oh, I'm here! That's right! You need grip grab to get back up here. I forgot all about this. God, I always hit every button trying to get out of there. So now I've got grip grab, I can enter this door from Ginger Village. Not that I ever will. I remember this as being the main way in. I think it's because I literally, even in my original playthrough, I think I probably, like, clipped. Clipped is the wrong word. So where the hell does this go? It's a Jinjo. Glad I came down here. So, in the first game, they were, like, magically the held in place. But in this game, like, they just ran away because they were scared, and now they're just standing in place again. It's like, why don't you just move? Turns out Jinjos can't walk. They're never shown walking.
Yeah, I know. Isn't that weird? You can do it with his command grab too, I think. No, I don't think so. Or his super grab. I think you can do it with a super grab if you do it with the input from the Kara command grab. It does literally nothing. Sometimes I start rounds with it, just a meme. And every now and then it works, which is especially funny. Glitter Gulch Mine. I keep on getting clipped under that. There we go. So there's another warp point. And also, somewhere around here are fire eggs. Instant fifth job. <laughs> bless, um... Bless current maple. Huh? What went wrong? There we go. It's a mystery. Probably nothing back here. But I feel better having looked. So this is something most people only do right at the end of the game if they do it at all. For all the honeycomb pieces you get, you can turn them in for HP. Instead of just getting the HP when you get six honeycombs, now you have to like pay. Classic rare design right here. That would have made your quest too easy. Wasp lady. Hornet girl. You can just cash them all in at the end. I guess I'll do it now. Big bear. I don't know. Something about that. I feel better having more HP than less. I like the theme here. Yeah, it does take priority. I can confirm. You can't even if you do his if you do the uh, the motion. Do we get split up already? I used to get it in World Two. Holy shit! Or maybe World Three is just over here, and I forgot. Right at Jinjo. We did it. That's a random chance. It's like five percent. Fire eggs unlock the next area, so I could just go over there and go and grab some grenade eggs, which would probably be helpful to have. These enemies are so cute. Why am I fighting them? can upgrade me to honey nut. I did it again. New teleport location. New ability. I've got enough. Every single overworld instance of this guy just gives you new egg types, and there's five in the game. Grenade are probably the best ones. Tui does have a quiz show, spoiler alert. That Humba's super weird because it's a Humba in the overworld. Remember that. Globos you, take, you get in levels can't be taken out of levels, so you need an overworld Globo. Of which there's only one in the game. So where's this Jinjo in question? I don't hear him, so he can't be that close to me. 
He's probably underneath this thing. Yeah, it was louder when I was next to it. Nice dynamic sound. Music's kind of great here. There are some things about this level that make it really amazing, and some things that make it terrible. I like these guys. Yeehaw. However, I hate Canary Mary. I also absolutely despise the transformation. It's like, what the fuck were they thinking? <laughs> it's this guy. He's from Witchy World. This is mine by that block tunnel. I have to detonate it. That unlocks witchy world stuff later on. Uh, is there anything down here? Can't see shit, Captain. Why is this puddle here? Glad I saw this. Very easily missed, I feel. Yeah, I can see Humba and Mumbo. Should I have to drill? The sooner I find, oh, the Globo. The sooner I find the ability to drill, the happier I'll be. I like to leave the transformations till the end, so I know where I'm going with them. Fuck is this? Is it timed? Oh, fuck it is. Follow the river. I don't even want to be doing this right now. This area is big and complex. Well, it's not that complex. It's like easy to get lost. I made it. Uh, as though I wasn't stressed enough. thing I can't get with Kazooie yet. There's a thing I could probably jump to, but it looks kind of far to jump to. Whoa, my god. Oh, fuck. Oh. I'm already lost as shit, and that's like this is like one of many times I'll be lost as shit in this game, so it's annoying and frustrating. Oh, there's no surface. Right, I better get my exploring out of the way real quick. I think that's where I came in. Where is it? Maybe this is where I came in. I honestly like can't tell. That looks like that enemy's respawning, so. Oh, this... I don't have any recollection of this whatsoever. I found something. Levels like Cloud Cuckoo Land are so much easier to get around in. The fuck? Where am I? I'm inside like a little barn thing. I can't seem to break this. I kind of doubted that would be it. I guess I'm supposed to come in here from the other side. I 
I just want everyone to know that I'm really not having fun right now. The best possible outcome would be these both being dead ends. Maybe one of them have a, a Cheeto page. Aw, oh, damn it. Aw, oh, damn it. This one appears to be a dead end. It's kind of hard to quickly get a gleam of how these rooms are laid out. Air. That's a jiggy. Now I feel a little bit better about all this. That swing. These guys are fucking top heavy. I feel a lot better about this area now that I feel like I've discovered where I was supposed to be going. I just hate being lost. That's the only area I haven't checked. Hopefully it's just empty. So I come peace for me. And no other exits. Cool. So I think I actually explored this bullshit and that one dead end I found is kind of mysterious but it's whatever. So now I've got to leave this way. I feel like you... I remember swimming faster in this game. Whoa. I gotta remember that because we rock is there. Rocket Robot on Wheels had a level really similar to this, but I liked it more. Rocket Robot on Wheels is a surprisingly based game. Feels like I should be able to grab that. Okay, I got that one. Might have to backtrack and get the other one. A cheetah page. Jolly Roger Lagoon Water. Maybe we'll find such a location someday. That was epic for the win. So is it shorter on one side? How did I like grab it? Also I didn't actually see a ladder up. So maybe this one can't be scaled. That makes me feel a little better in this water. Probably nothing, but... Oh, hello. Glad I looked. I think there's one of those per level, but don't quote me. Oh, you can swim in first-person mode. I like that. That makes it a lot easier figuring out where I am and what I'm doing. Okay, I think I'm back in the overworld again, so now my stress is back to, like, near zero. Oh, this is that rock. This is actually extremely cool. That's like a real Jiggy, I guess. Buried in that stone. It's a stone, Luigi. It's a stone, Luigi. I don't fucking... The way he says it is so weird. Can't even jump on the rock. Non-functional stairs. Some eggs and nothing else. Wow, there's actually nothing else in here. It's just for cannon. No, you can do this. I don't think there's a purpose for me going over there yet. We'll find out the hard way, baby. This might be instant death if it lands on me. 
which is especially funny because I could use gold feathers. Oh, what's especially funny now is that's going to make it harder to get out. Oh, it's... the pistons are off. Okay. You didn't make it. Once Baff watches the entire Super Mario World TV show, I think we'd all enjoy that a lot. The spring shoes. Shoes were somewhat underutilized in the base game, I guess. Only two different types of shoes. This game adds, I think, two more. Oh, poison. And a bunch of rocks I need to break, and I still don't have the rock breaking ability, which I was surely supposed to get almost immediately after coming in. The Kirby anime. Kirby, ray right back at ya. That was another anime that I really wanted to like, but it was too childish. This one was Wigwam, giving me a fairly good idea of where I am. Another thing I have to detonate. You have to remember where so much shit is. That's what's annoying about this game. What am I thinking about? Like, what do I want? If there's an announcement, what's the thing I'm anticipating? Is that what you're asking? Give me a new character. Give me better V skills. I'm like so definitively supposed to have the drill by this point. Bullion Bill. I love that. Hmm. I love how s blatantly selfish these two are in this game. That's actually a really nice touch. It makes the characters a lot funnier, I feel. Yes, I already found Dilberta. It's blocked with a rock. What do you know? The door literally goes right there. She left through their house into that fucking other room. Where she got stuck. But Banjo's kind of in on it in this game. In the first game, Kazooie was selfish, and Banjo was kind of heroic. In this game, it's more like they're both really selfish. They're both just here for the collectibles, and if, if, the, if the person they're helping doesn't have a collectible to offer, they don't really care. There's another fucking thing I have to break. I hate this. There he is. I think it's literally that one. It's going to be so fucking relieving to have this. Please be the fucking drill. Bill drill. Oops, I skipped his rhyme. It's like fun to read those, so I feel kind of bad. I remember how to use the ability anyway, it's simple. Tui is definitely less comfy than Kazooie. It depends on the world. This is like my least favorite world, so I'm gonna complain about it nonstop. I thought that would be a warp. Is there a warp at all near Humba? Because I didn't see one. Maybe it's like right up in front of it. No? I guess we're pretty close to the opening of the level, so it's whatever. So now I can go into that poison cave. So 
Uh, epic. Epic, epic jumps. I don't see or hear a globo. This one. And a path I can take. This is just a flat upgrade to the drill. I mean, to the regular ground pound. But they have different functions. It's like one pushes switches and the other... Okay, there's another detonation thing I have to do. I guess... That's how I got to the light, Jinjo. This one appears to be empty. I really do like Donkey Kong 64 more than, than Tui. In fact, maybe I just like Donkey Kong 64 more than... Both Banjo games. Whoa. Even though I can definitely, 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 definitively state that Donkey Kong 64 is a much shittier game than Metro Kazooie. Yeah, I remember that's there. Another split up pad. A building. And a balding. We've yet again reached something I don't recall at all. Power hut basement. Let's do our best to turn on the power. Nice. Well designed game. God damn it. Oh my god. Okay, there's a button over there. That wasn't it. Seems I like got it. gives you one look at it. That's surprisingly mean-spirited. I don't think I've ever come up here before, surprisingly. Oh, no, I'm trapped above it. There we go. I usually just go into the basement and just do this here, I think. All usually is a bit strong because I don't usually play this game. So uh, you can just go really slow and can kind of feel your way through it. And also, uh, the fire eggs will light up a path. Which is how I always thought you were supposed to do this. Feels kind of weird. That's great. I get the camera to look where Benjo's looking. You can kind of see it. You don't really need to do any of this. Does this game have one-ups at all? I haven't seen a life count anywhere at any point. I'm wondering because I was about to commit suicide to get out of here. Metalhead. That's the one that's, uh, it's like a fucking, it sounds like around the world. Lives don't appear to be a thing. Oh, it takes me to the start of the level. That's kind of inconvenient, because I don't remember how I got to that room. Oh, I can help that guy out now. No, I had to detonate it. I didn't have to drill a rock. Oh! You're supposed to split them. That makes so much sense. See, I've never done it that way. I feel like you need Beak Bayonet here, and I haven't learned that yet. There, you probably learned it right there.
How do I remember all the names of the moves? Does Kazooie really not mind being handled in this way? I, he bonked again. Ah -hoo. Pardoner. This one's pretty annoying. The whole mine will explode. You have to try and defuse them somehow. This is very tense. This is one of the tensest moments in an N64 game that I can think of. You got 15 to destroy, you've got a limited time to find them all, and... You have to melee them, which is thankfully not very hard at all. But you've got to find them, which is a bit of a trick. This is like, com uh... Complex. This map looks familiar in that way. If it's like Complex, I can fucking find my way through it in two seconds because I know that map by heart. Even though I haven't played it in forever. It is, dude! This is complex. I remember that being there. There's like a wall you can step into right over there. This the hallway is different, I think, though. Let's try and stay on the top floor for a bit. Or does this go down? It doesn't. Well, it does. Why is this back at the start? Alright, I've spent 50 seconds doing nothing. It's similar. You can shoot those guys, but you gotta tap the... Oh! Beep in at stronger, and it saves me ammo. Right, they appear to be more densely populated down here. It's shades of complex. Um. What is the best song from the TV show? Is it Leo Luster? Is it Bluster the Benevolent? Is it Donkey Donkey? Uh, what the fuck is it called? Donkey Croc, I think. The one where Donkey Kong gets convinced that he uh, is actually uh, what's the pirate guy's name? Actually related to the pirate guy. At least you can hear them when you're close to them. That's a nice touch. They didn't have to do that. Running out of time a little bit. I think all the remaining ones are down. Not this kind of down, though. I think I've been here. I really don't have that much time. It's two. There it is. I used a good amount of my time. Funny shaped nugget. Makes me actually leave. Somewhat cruel. I think I got in on the top floor, so let's go back up there. Beth plays Goldeneye. Huh? Nothing up here. Wait, what's the song from the DK? I want to know. It's 
two of these have like paths just straight up. Where the fuck are they? That's the one I was already in. Be those two probably. This one for sure. So in complex, you have a like hidden wall here you can like go into. Dead end. I'm nobody's hero. I remember that one. That's a good one. That's sad. Get to work. I double O agent did Goldeneye. The hardest level is probably control. Or train. Train is quite hard. I've only barely played Perfect Dark. I know it's like the same game again, but, you know, less James Bond and more... I guess Joanna Dark. More a rare original character. Yeah. I've heard everyone say it's super good, I've just never bothered to play it. I only kind of... I don't know how to feel about... Uh, Goldeneye. I've beaten the fuck out of the game, but like now I probably wouldn't even touch it. I've only beaten the fuck out of it because it was a famous game that I owned. And I owned it because it was famous. I don't. I didn't buy it. I think my brother did. Glad to have that. I get frustrated when I don't really know my way around. I'm just trying to fucking follow simple patterns. Gloomy caverns. Do that. How do you activate this? I'm feeling hella stupid right now. It feels like you should just hit it with something and it would like activate. But it's not eggs. I can't think of anything I would have that would like electrify it. There's an egg spawning thing here. Doesn't appear to be a button to interact with it. Alright, this feels super ghetto. I'm almost certain I'm doing something wrong here. Anyone more familiar with the game can tell me what. Shoot the green flashy. Do that on the next one. I already did like a dark section. Oh, that worked. How did I not shoot the green? What the fuck was I doing? So is it going to cut out? Yeah, it is. How was that not my first instinct? It didn't really look like it went in, I guess. This is unbelievably sensitive. Uh. Okay. We'll ignore that one. Oh, I think you can literally just jump to that ladder. I think you can literally bypass all of this in this area, and I think I did that last time I played this game. It was broken. And now I'm at the level again.
I should have tried harder to hit that green thing. Unfortunately, I don't know where the fuck I was. Probably here. This game is more uncooperative than Banjo Kazooie is. The removal of lives, I think, is a pretty nice touch, to be honest. It doesn't have one ups to incentivize you anymore, but that was kind of silly anyway, because most of the one ups involved you, like, just getting them easily or, like, risking your life to get them in the original game. And, you know, well, I didn't die a lot. Maybe someone else would. I think I had either one or zero deaths for the whole playthrough. Why is it like this? Do you have to shoot them with fire? Did I shoot it with fire originally? I must have. Oh, okay. Alright, we're in there. The box probably isn't even tiny. I'm certain I could just jump straight to that. So here's where I died a second ago. I like saw just a bit too late. This is like actually okay now. It still doesn't really make sense that I'm spitting fire eggs to unlock these these paths. So what the fuck does this one do? Because I appear to be at the goal. I'm just going to hit it anyway. It's lighting up where I already am. Well, it's nice. For flavor. Alright. That was a lot better designed once I understood what I was doing. Let's get fire eggs, I guess, because I used a lot. I'm here. Ah, oh, I opened this this door. It was mostly bonus rooms to get one ups in DKC. Although I seem to recall some precarious ones. Alright, that's another thing I can scratch off. I found two places that were connected after all this time. I tried to do a Mario 64 long jump. Same input. I want to move faster. That's like a perfect Banjo-Kazooie moment right there. One, I got confused and thought I was playing Mario 64. Two, I got annoyed because I was moving too slowly. That's like the perfect summation of Banjo-Kazooie. Place number two to take Mumbo. Nice. This train is kind of cool and it's used in several things over the course of the game. Bonus Mario's. I think you mean free play Mario's. That HP stayed there. Because we did that too. Thought that was a path for a sec. This is super duper linear. I think I'm going the wrong way on it, but I think I hit the end, didn't I? Or did I? This just takes you all the way through. Wow, there's a Jinjo in here. Glad I came. Um, I guess I could do Mumbo. More Humbo Wumba.
Is this the poison one? I was looking for this. I think the poison one's the one where Canary Mary is, but it might not be this specific spot. Oh, this isn't the poison one. Alright, so remember to take Humble Wumba's transformation next to Mumba's place. If, you, if you're controlling Mumbo and you take him to Humble Wumba's place, I think they badmouth each other or something like that. I seem to recall if you're standing directly below the chair where you can talk to Mumbo, or like in front of Mumbo where you can talk to him, uh, and hit B, it'll allow you to talk to him, like, even though you're like a floor down. Like the, it's infinite vertical height. Kirby 1-ups are if you remember things from other Kirby games. It's like, hey, remember how you could hit up kick go into the moon? In Kirby, Kirby's Dream Land? I think Kirby's Dream Land didn't have that. I don't remember the first game that had that. Kirby's Adventure? Maybe, maybe it wasn't Dream Land. That's Humble Wamba. I guess I can take a portal to the train station. What's the other one? The Rock? That's just it. What the fuck is the button? It was B. I hit it and it didn't work. So every time the moon ever appears in Kirby, hit up to go into it and then fucking it always works. I think there's exactly two Mumbo spots in every single level, but don't quote me. This is actually one of the cutest moments in the entire game. Hey Mambo, it's not even doing anything anymore. It is a nice fat beat. Thing looks like out of Mortal Kombat. So this actually destroys the fuck out of the Jiggy. see the pieces of it getting thrown around. And what's especially hilarious... <laughs> this just plays like a little clip. I love that. It's such a good gag. There we go. It only plays as much of the song as you have access to the fucking Jiggy. I gotta admit, that's pretty funny. Mumbo only knows one spell every level. Also, there's only one Mumbo pad in the first level, so I was already wrong. Chuffy is the train, but Chuffy is also a boss inside the train. I feel like I pretty much explored the level, but I know of several places I haven't been to yet. There's also at least one thing I have to use Kazooie's underwater drill to get to, which I will surely forget about. 
I also haven't unlocked one of the warps. I don't remember what level you get, Kazooie's Drill, Underwater Drill. I, it might be this one. I'd rather have it sooner than later. Pew. So Mumbo's like right there. Can I talk to him from like here? Oh, you can. Yeah, see, it's infinite vertical height on talking to him. It's kind of funny. You can talk to him from the ground floor. Um, I guess I'll go to Chuffy. And then Humba Wumba. I read a post by a guy who was, I think, English, who hated when Americans said train station. So it's kind of weird seeing this fucking UK game with train station written there. Maybe this guy was just being super anal. Can I do this fight yet? Oh, he's not Chuffy. I like his face so much. Anyway, the guy got really upset because apparently station is good enough. It's like, what else could a station be if not a train station? That's what he said, anyway. Okay, fire is probably not the play. Whoa. I thought you just kind of hit him with eggs. Maybe you have to use grenade eggs. That worked, anyway. Okay, you don't have to hit the specific part that's about to break off. This boss fight's pretty funny and also pretty easy. Nice. Too close to him. I like how he's still talking, but the top half is, like, on the ground. It's like, that was, this isn't this, this isn't the control center of this creature. The face wasn't. You might have not spent it supposed to do that yet. Is the lava still lava? -y? No. It might be because I got the grenade eggs early. It allowed me to do that without backtracking. Good for me. I don't even have a place to go with this damn fucking train. So you can take this guy to a whole bunch of different levels. And that's actually used for several jiggies. You can grab this? Weird. Got nothing else I can think to do except go to Humba Wumba. I'm confident that I've missed an important area here, and I'm really hoping that it's just unlocked by. Let's take the warp. Oh, I guess I could go to like the first level and 
get all the drill stuff in there, and then it, it comes into like an entrance back to this level. Oh, I never got the spring shoes, and I didn't even see the place where those were given to you. That's in, in this level. Give Jinjo. So the split pads are probably required to get um, ice eggs. I could go ahead and unlock the next level if I wanted to. In fact, I should have taken the warp just now. Never mind. It's probably a shorter walk just to come here. I probably have everything I need to go and grab all the secrets, but I'll wait until I have hatch anyway. Come through. What's World 4 anyway? Surely it's not icy hot, whatever bullshit yet. Or Grunty Industries, surely not Grunty. What is this? I can't even tell. I can't tell what I'm looking at. Oh, it's the lagoon. This is inside one of the, um... One of the underwater temples. Can't believe Mario 64 had Jolly Roger Bay in this game has Jolly Roger Lagoon. Someone file a lawsuit. Yeah, I'll get the I'll get like the bit Benjo Kazooie cartridges later on. I think you can use the eggs right away, but I'm not gonna. But you need hatch to unlock the egg that's already there. I don't remember what the secrets are, they're probably cool. Oh, I can get the fish, too. He's double air, I think. I'm not gonna do it yet. So, the lagoon, then... Um... Dinosaur. And then there's two more. No, three more. Maybe. Grunty Industries is one of them. Cloud Cuckoo Land is one of them. Cloud Cuckoo Land is when this game starts hitting critical non-fun. Get the antithesis of fun over there. It's too damn big. I got the Cheeto page up there. I think I just remembered where the Jinjo I missed was, because I remember Jinjo that I don't think I got that you had to grip grab to get. to like destroy one of these or what what's going on here they wiggle oh I bet you're tossing the jiggy around from like pillar to pillar. Okay, that was the right one. I 
Okay, that's kind of cool, I guess. I didn't need the cutscene. Why is it timed? Why is it showing me a cutscene every time? This is unbelievably stupid. They could have had a cool little puzzle that I did solve on my own. I didn't remember it. And instead we have this ugly mess where it shows me non-stop cutscenes with an unnecessary time limit that makes no sense. What's going to happen when the time limit runs out? It's going to just fucking teleport back to the tallest one? This is really stupid. The time limit's also way too long. So did I, like, miss a Jinjo here? Yeah, I did. I think it's near the side of the level. It's, like, in the big door. I think I walked through as a stony. No, where the fuck was it? Or maybe I didn't have grip grab, and I was like, oh, I could get that if I had grip grab. I think it was through the big door near the side level. I, think, I guess that was near Wumba's Wigwam or whatever. Oh, I thought it was that. And that's probably where I got Grip Grab. So that's not where the ginger was. Where the fuck is the ginger I missed in this level? I doubt he's in the prison. He's probably in the overworld. I'm fairly certain I have everything required to hunt out this level. Maybe he's along this wall. I just heard the whistle, dude. He is so here somewhere. Oh, maybe he's underwater. There he is. That never occurred to me. Cool. Got a green one. Alright, so now we're done with this level, once I've rescued Dilberta. Well, I guess I'm technically already done with the level, right? Since Dilberta's a jiggy for a different star. So I've been here for how long? In this level for 53 minutes, so the game claims. And I've now just beaten a single level. Although, I admittedly, I've almost... I'm, like, a lot of the way through the second level. Can't wait to mash A while racing Canary Mary. You guys want to watch me mash A? Plague ridden pest? Master? What is she? Is she a pet? Or like a wife? Or a wife pet? Remember that long corridor you had to mash triangle and um... How did I beat her here? I guess that it must be a pretty long path. I just fucking sprinted past her. Honey? Master? Honey? Isn't it kind of weird referring to someone as Master and Honey? Like, if someone's your Honey, they shouldn't be your Master too, maybe. Unless there's some weird fetish shit going on. can't talk to Delberta. I don't know, there's something kind of sketch about this whole thing. I appreciate the design that this is an uneven table being leveled by a book. That's like a very subtle way to show this place is shitty.
I had to help Dilberta find her dummy cummy daddy. So here's the icing on the shit. Oh, it's the warp is inside. Here's the icing on the shit cake for this level. Jump in Wumba Pool, if only I could, baby. Your only attack hurts you, and also you move by, like, hopping in a very obnoxious way. What the fuck were they thinking with this power? It's very unfun. If you stand on one of these, you'll detonate it. So I got one near Mumbo and one near the other side of where... Um... Okay, this is where Canary Mary is. It's like they knew they created something awful. Everything about it is terrible. Everything about Canary Mary. It's like they tried to make her disgusting and unpleasant. I kind of want fire eggs. I'll come back for you, Canary Mary. The idea of a Canary character in a mine is pretty cool. I like that. Let's do minimal overworld travel if we can help it. It's B to use my detonation attack and B to activate these things. Not much going on right now. Just being a little detonator guy. The black Jinjo in prison. I just realized that. What the fuck? It's randomized. So it's not like they planned it like that. What if everyone was randomized except that one? I don't know where to use the shoes, or get the shoes, rather. I think it's over on this side. Oh, fishing? Like catching fish with a rod? Nothing, believe me. Yeah, I'd like to go into Wumba's Wigwam. You have internet? Imagine having unlimited data. It must be nice. I don't. There's still a section of this level I just miss. See, prevent me from using that door. Is that what's going on here? No. Am I supposed to break it open? Are you fucking me? Mumbo's magic would just auto transform me back. I'm tempted to detonate just to fucking turn back. It won't let you do a final detonate. I'm being truly trolled by the game right now. Broken to pieces. Jesus.
Oh, I'm back here. I didn't even transform me back. Jesus, is Buggy even getting him through the fucking door? So far, I don't have any serious big complaints about this game. It's just a lot of little things that annoy me. One of these has the bouncy shoes. I ran into another instance of the bouncy shoes, didn't I? And I pointed them out. It was like near the crusher shed, I guess. That's probably where you learn to use them. Either that or you learn to use them in like the next level. Does it tell you how many things there are to learn? I don't remember if I actually looked for that. Yeah, I have learned both things in this place. That's actually super annoying because that means there's no shoes for me, which means I have to revisit. I said this game had no backtracking, I think, and now I've gone and played it and it's like, wow, it's enormously more backtracking than the original. Oh. All that fucking trek to get over here. And it's just fucking locked. I don't know why I checked. I should have trusted him. I guess I'll rescue Canary, Mary, Mash A, and then save and quit. So I'm done with this. It's not like I'll just Mash A once, though. I'll Mash A a whole lot. Yeah, I, it's going to be 100%, yeah. I can't even imagine playing this game not 100%. There was one I actually couldn't get 100% as a kid because I couldn't win the second Canary Mary race in Cloud Cuckoo Land. The one that gives you just a page. So I got every single item in the game except a page. Canary Mary. She's gross. Is she a bird? She's a canary. But she seems to be wearing a skirt whereas like because he seems to be a real bird. If I must. They could have made Canary Mary cute. But they didn't. Don't think there's anything else in here. Hear a jig, uh, Jinjo, or anything. I really don't like this level. I'll have a lot more fun in level 3 and level 4. So she, like, fixed this thing? This was truly cruel to the player. An old bird. Tap A as fast as you can. 
Okay. So the trick with this that I didn't know as a kid is it's got really, really bad rubber banding. So what you want to do is you want to not go that fast, and then you want to, like, get faster and faster as you go. I don't remember how long it is, so I'm just going to take it real slow at the beginning. Almost everyone is going to tap their fastest right at the beginning and then run out of energy. And if you do that, you get fucked because she starts moving like super, super quick for the entire race. I really don't want to push it that fast yet. I'm getting pretty close to the end, I think. It's like notable how much faster she gets the fucking... The faster you go, though. And you have to race her multiple times. This is a good chance for me to see how long the track is. Already my hand's getting pretty tired, though. I'm almost done, though. It's like the end, I think. Yay. It's one thing that they put this in the game at all, but they put it in the game and have you do it four times, I think. Is it a Jiggy? It's been under my wing for days. So this one's a bit harder, and also you're probably still sore from the first one. I'm gonna start real slow. She's already getting pretty far ahead of me. It feels like you have to push it extra fast when you're on like a slope, but you don't. That's just pretty strong, I guess. This is like the kind of thing that my friends would have me do because they couldn't do it. It's like even harder later in the game too. This one's not so bad, but it's certainly enough to like get you tired. I don't know how close I am to the end, so it like, might be suicidal to... Okay, there it is. Cool. That wasn't bad. I didn't enjoy it, don't get me wrong. I'm not showing it off here, but it's nightmarish if you, like, start fast. Wedged in my... We'll never find out where it was. I choose to believe it was her cloaca. So I got most of the shit in this level. I've got to revisit once I have the ability to drill underwater and the spring shoes. I don't know what the Jiggy I missed was. It's honestly better to just go through the game and get all the fucking power-ups. And then just revisit places once you've got them all. I think you can kind of choose this. You're supposed to use the spring jump to like get over there to get that page. But you can just jump from over here if memory serves. But if you climb too high, you'll like leave the level, so it's a bit of a trick. Alright, I did it. I want to play Maple Story.
I'm not gonna, but I want to. I just want everyone to know that. Even though it's a Kusoga. Even though I know it's a shitty game. Every time someone talks about Animal Story, I want to play it. I can get another HP, I guess. I kind of like turning them all in at the end, but I've already gotten one. And I like won't come back here forever. I only barely have enough anyway, right? Or do I even have enough? I like seeing how the classes change because they overhaul the classes. Like, the amount of time I go without playing is like just enough for them to overhaul a class. This B song. I guess I'm done for the day. I want to go to sleep not at 8 a.m. unlike yesterday. Since I'm going to have people over at my house tomorrow working on closets, installing stuff. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to go to sleep right away, but I definitely don't want to keep playing this.